Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to do a haul today. I have a lot on my painting plate, just so to speak. I went to Hobby Lobby to get, to just see their um, Easter stuff. I hadn't been there before. I, I only got my eggs from Michael's. So I did get, and I did go back to Michael's, but let me just pull out a few things. This, and 40% off all the wood. So hopefully, I mean, this is 12 by 12, so um, it's a 12 inch square wood canvas three pack, $14.99, 40% off that. So see, it comes one, two, three. They're wood canvases. Now these are gonna be good for wood. Oh, I didn't notice this was broken. This is kind of broken right here. That's okay. Um, I mean, I could take it back, but I think I'll be able to, to work around it. Um, Cause I'm gonna do this. I decided to, this is a tray and I love the look of a tray. But to me, it'll be easier to paint on because the tray would have a lip coming up. So this, I'll just be able to lay my arm on top easier. And it's getting hung in my bathroom anyway. I have the spot picked out already. Um, so I just thought this was a better, and, and because they didn't have the tray, she said on the packet, this is Rosemary West, she said that she got her tray at um, Hobby Lobby. So I, but I wasn't able to find it. I'm pretty good about searching and stuff and asking. But this is the pattern. It's kind of a mandala pattern and this seems a little smaller, um, the tracing. So I'll just have to, maybe I'll make a border, you know, I'll be able to work around that. Um, and there may even be a border. And you know why? I'll bet you it's because on the tray, this part, the actual, like, the edges of the tray are included in that 12 by 12 measurement. So it's probably a good inch. So I'll bet you this is 11 by 11. So I'll do a half inch border around this. It'll be fine. Um, and I'll, or I could blow it up so that it fit the whole thing. And then I will be doing the checks, the side of her, um, of the board has this checkerboard so we'll, I'll figure it out but I'm excited because this is a really nice surface it was 40% off and I love a deal so that's what I did for that I also am going to be painting with Tracy Moreau on Saturday I'm going to put this aside um, she's doing a paint along <coughs> on her I guess it's her Facebook page, Facebook Live, and her YouTube channel. So let me bring that into the shot. This is the project, and I, I did get this packet. <coughs> um, I was on Facebook. Yeah, just I just went to her website, tracymoreau.com.net. I'm sorry, right here, tracymoreau.net. It's so cute. Be kind. I want to find the big, um, so you get all the instructions this is there's several ways that you can do the piece now what i'm assuming i'm going to do and i'm thinking about this one of the things i got in my haul was these little by the wood pile small whitewash signs with jute string so i think what i'm thinking of doing before the class because if you guys have ever taken a class you kind of go semi-prepared you know, you try to have your pattern based on, or I'm sorry, traced on and things like that. Um, and then do your best to keep up, but you never really do your best work in a class because you're, you're trying to keep up and you're talking to your friends and whatever. Like hopefully I'll be typing online and we'll see. I'm not used to the Zoom ones or the Facebook Lives. But this is on a, um, a tag, a wooden tag, a large wooden tag, which I don't have, but I'm gonna have Joe cut for me out of MDF board. She also has three-dimensional bees that she has herself that I don't have, but I might try to see if Joe could cut me some three-dimensional bees. I don't know. Um, but for the class, I don't have what was one of the, um, see, this is what it looks like. It's a wood grain stencil. It's the Tim Holtz layered wood grain stencil by um, Stampers Anonymous. 
They didn't have it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Actually, I forgot to look at Michael's. Dang it. I'm going to order it. I'm just going to order it online. I think it'll be here Monday. So I won't have it for class, but that's why I'll still be able to paint along. I'm going to do a couple of these. So I'll, while the class is going on, I'll do a couple of these. That looks kind of dirty. Um, just because they were already done, you know. Um, I don't know if I'll even keep the jute on there. And just like having this rustic background, it was super simple because she breaks it down. So there's, uh, she has two different options, I think, for um, the backgrounds. You can either stencil it or stamp it. So I'm going to order the stencil and my big tag, will. I'll do it exactly the way she um, suggests. And then I'll trace my design and all that. But So these are the three-dimensional um, bees. So these are actual little bees. So here's the, the four options. She has, that looks stamped. This looks stenciled. And then there's lighter versions, I'm sure, depending on the color that you use. Um, what, what it's, so I'm going to order, but where's the little designs? Because she has a lot of little um, <clears throat> other pieces that you could do. Here they are. So this is probably what I'm going to be doing. I think I might work these up on ATCs. I have the wooden ATCs. I'm going to find them. I love You Are My Sunshine. I'm just going to, you know, play around with these different. Um, and then this smaller shape. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a, a like a simple whitewash without the wood grain and do that because I love You Are My Sunshine. So I'll paint along with them, but not kind of in the order that they're doing it. And then she also does use a, um, she uses the Uniball Signo 0.38 black gel pen to do her kind of like detail lines or to do any extra little outlining and stuff. I think she outlines the daisies and stuff. So it's just fun. It's, it's kind of along the lines of what I've been doing recently with the um, pen and ink pieces. I have this little girl. I did all these. Um, one of my angels. I haven't varnished her yet. And I'm still really a heavy hand. At, they are by far not as light as um, Barbara's are. But I have these ready to go. Have a happy day and joy. They're all inked up. And then I just have to add the color. Um, so yeah, I'm playing with pen and ink right now anyway. These just This just looks so fun, and I figured I'm just going to do it. And like I said, I think I'll be able to play with this. I could put Be Kind in smaller letters. All right, that's all I want to share about that. <laughs> so that's Saturday. I'll put the link in the description. Let me put that up here. Hi, Kirby. All right, so here's my haul. I got more big eggs from Michael's. They're still... I want to say 60% off. This is for this is for someone as a gift in their Easter basket. <clears throat> and wellness in a box for an Easter basket. Um this is so cute. I got the a two set. Now these aren't Easter. They're always the guy told me these are from Hobby Lobby and these are always in stock. So they're just their regular stock. They're not just for Easter. And I like them because they have that nice flat bottom. They're a little bit bigger than this one. Wait, I got it at Michael's. So this is from Hobby Lobby. And this is from Michael's. So look, these were the Michael's ones. And this is the in stock regularly in stock which I didn't see that I need to do that but this is a little bigger so it's kind of like I have three different sizes I'm just seeing if I have any more eggs okay so here's my painted eggs the two sizes the three sizes actually that I had are right here so and these were all from Michaels this is the big one this is the three pack this is this one and I had to go down and 
I sanded a bottom on it so that it could stand up. And then this was from Michaels too. I didn't get any more of them. So those are the three sizes I had from Michaels. This is Hobby Lobby. So now I have another size. And this is Hobby Lobby. These are the small ones from Hobby Lobby. And these have a nice bottom base. So they're a little bit bigger than the small ones from Michaels. So I have a lot of different sizes. I'm just ha I just wanted to get them in my stash because I have a lot more eggs to do. And I'm thinking I'm going to just keep doing these. I'm just going to, I want to have something in my craft room that I can just come in here and do really easily. So that's my thinking anyway. But these are great because they already have that um, flat bottom. These don't. Just FYI, these do not have it. The, the three packs from Michaels, from the, the Make It Market. Now, I believe these were just Easter. So I don't know that they, I didn't go into the regular wood department. Um, so I'm going to just have these. Um, this one is another, a great size. It's a little bigger than my bigger one, and it has the flat bottom. So it's not totally egg-shaped, but it's good enough. So I'm excited. I have those two. And then I just got like I think two more of the big, big ones because they're fun. Because you, you don't have to paint as small. That way I can have it a little more blown up. So cute. I'm still, they just make me happy. They make me smile. Really enjoying them. The process is pretty, like I can really be um, automatic pilot when I'm doing them. So these again are wood pile and then the these are wood pile two pack for $6.49 but I got them 40% um, off yeah so whatever that comes out to be I got these boxes which I really liked and I think I'm gonna do some of these patterns that from the eggs on these these are magnetic I just think they're cute I can do so say for um, this pattern that I'm gonna do on it's not here wait a minute anyway the the original like this guy well this one isn't it either but this the checkerboard I can do some checkerboard along the side you know and just I just think it's adorable and it was $3.99 I don't know if these were on sale because um I think they had to be like over four dollars I'm not sure I gotta look at my receipt but I just think they're adorable and little cute little gifts just another surface they're a little wonky but they have a magnetic closure and I'll have to sand them a little better but um, for four bucks that's pretty good I really like those I'm excited I'm excited to put something on there I even thought of like shrinking down the angels and you could put the angels on there eh, we'll see because she has anyway let me I digress but look at this this little wood is so cute and this definitely was on sale 40% um, off let's see the original price is $7.99 so 40% off that, look at that, four surfaces. I don't know what I'm going to put on here, but because Easter is, Alexa, turn on the craft fan. <laughs> it's 80, it's 85 degrees outside. I'm hot. <laughs> um, and I get so excited. Um, but this is such a cute surface. You could put the four seasons on here. So it has a little jute tassel. And then it's connected by a jute string with um, a little wooden bead in between. Um, you could do four seasons. That's what came to my mind. And I have a pattern that I'm going to share with you. Um, anything. It's so cute. I can't. This is. And that way I can have it up all year round. I could just do all bunnies and chickies. I can do angels. I can do whatever. Such a good. I just think this is a phenomenal um, wood source like just a great I don't know I can't wait to see what I do with it <laughs> and I hadn't seen that before there's a lot of that out there now everything has these little beaded wood beads with like a tassel at the back of it is out on everything there's a lot of trays and stuff like that 
Um, I think I'm just going to make a bracelet out of this. These were beads were, and I didn't get beads because I have enough. Um, I think they were 50% off. So three something for this, a little three set of bracelets. I'm just going to make this exactly as it is and put it on stretchy cord and just have three bracelets. I just think they are so gorge. Um, and then this one, I just love this color of the, um, the, the, these aren't Swarovski crystals, but they're good crystals. And they have the AB coating on them, pretty sure. Maybe not. <clears throat> anyway, so that was all the beads. And then I just got four paint colors and some more stretchy cord. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, too, that when you order packets from, which I'm going to share with you next, from Barbara Nielsen Designs, the woman that is doing the, my, the egg designs and all that, she sent me a color conversion sheet, which was wonderful. And just FYI for those of you who haven't painted for a long time, Back in the day, there were kind of staple colors by either Ceramco or Americana. And Barbara's still using those go-to colors, so I have them in my stash. A lot of the newer artists that are creating designs, like, and, and actually, um, uh, Plum Purdy. So Renee Mullins definitely uses newer colors, and so does Tracy Moreau. So these four colors that I bought today, I think are maybe not the deep ochre. Um, orange flame, that's definitely a new color. But guess what? I probably have something really similar in my stash. And I have so many paints from years and years of painting. Um, Bahama blue, I know I have Bahama blue. Like look at Salem blue. Uh, it's, it's, but it, it's not going to be that big of a difference. This is called blue turquoise so that's what I tend to do is really I google it and then I find a picture of it of the color and then I grab what I have but I just felt like getting like look at the sunny day I don't know I just wanted to have and the only I didn't have one of the colors they didn't have one of them I forget what color it was but the four that I didn't have that I went to get they had anywho um, Barbara Nielsen has a conversion chart for Ceramco colors and Americana colors, and I have pretty much all of those. But this is for the um, for Saturday's class. So this is the last thing that I wanted to share was I did place another order with Barb Nielsen, uh, Barbara Nielsen Designs, and here they are. So I could not resist this little um, rooster. I just love the design. It says, welcome each new day. That's what the, and that really caught my eye too because I think that's part of being grateful and I really try to be grateful. I get a much better start to my day when I look at it as a clean slate to be the best me I can be. And that really says, welcome each new day said that to me. So anyway, let me show you. And it also comes with three eggs. So it's rooster on an easel recipe box plus three farm eggs. So I have to show you this. This is the, the rooster pattern. And I the line work is so fun. So basically, this is how you start. You base coat it all white, and then you trace your design on, and then you do all the inking. So I use my pen. I've been using this Monito. Mm, Molotow? Molotow pen. This is a .05 and it's working great and it's pretty reasonable. I don't know, I want to say maybe $12? I forget. I got it on Amazon and I've inked all my stuff so far with that one pen and it's holding up. I do have another one. I bought a spare. Um, but this is like, this is it. Just white paint, sanded, trace your pattern on and then ink it. And it's so fun. It's very meditative, meditative. I don't know what you want to say. Anywho, and then you color it. You wash paint on top of it. So that's what this is going to be. I did not have the recipe box and didn't think I would use a recipe box. So guess what I did? I had my husband just cut me the shape of this top and made it into like a plaque. 
and this will definitely hang in my house somewhere because it says welcome each new day and I love it I think it's adorable I cannot wait to do this um, I think I might need one more coat of white this is probably like two coats and this is on MDF so there's still tape on the back I like to keep the tape he cut this on the Glowforge but I like to keep the tape on the back so that it's nice and clean it stays clean and then I pull the tape off at the end and there's no mess on the back um, so I will be doing that soon but it also came with three egg designs there's a rooster the three bird houses so I'll show you see the one two three bird houses she put them together and then Sunrise Farm there's a little farm with the little chickies OMG I can't it's so stinking cute so these are just going to be in my egg collection and for those of you who watch my channel you know that I each one of these are my babies first so every egg this one has been around the longest and I'm so glad this is 30 years old I don't have a date on it I just have my little name right here anyway but I have to have them for a little while before I can give them away maybe next Easter these are gonna go in people's Easter baskets or I'll just give them to people but just for now I have to collect them because I get obsessive and I want every one of them so look at the size of these though so that's why I really liked the big eggs that I got from Michaels for these look how they're perfect for that and then let's see this is the small it's a little too small um, this one I think that would kind of be perfect on this size and definitely on this size so um, I just I've been I don't know why these just they really speak to me but guess what I could put this little farm on here I'm just seeing that that looks super cute on here I could put the bird houses and see how around the bottom of the box I could just do the red and white checks and just put bird houses up here with the vine OMG so cute and maybe even put a bird in the middle because I have a bird from this one so in her other design that I did so I could put one of these little blue birds like here and have the bird just come on makes me happy all right so let me show you the other patterns that I got and they're mostly eggs um so this guy goes where hold on hold on hold on here all right so I got and she has plenty of other stuff not just eggs um, this one I think she wrote me a little note when I got it was her very first pattern packet that she ever did I want to see if there's a date um, this is called eggs 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 number one so there's a little church OMG see that would be so cute for this too maybe make it into a god box in Al-Anon, sometimes when things are going hard or anything that you want to give to God, you put it in your God box. So cute. The other little guy says joy, and then there's a bunny in a basket. So let me look at the um, printable. Because sometimes they put a copyright date on their drawing. I don't see one. But look how cute. See that little farm scene? This is her first packet, and you can kind of tell the quality of the printout compared to today. I don't know. It's just amazing. I'm just glad. <gasps> it says Happy Easter. Oh, cute. I didn't see that at first. So, yeah, these would be so cute. Look at him. Does he fit? Yeah. Oh, my God. So cute. I, it makes me happy. Um, all right. So, there's that. That's called eggs, eggs, eggs number one. Then I got springtime eggs. Again, there's like a, uh, it looks like fall, but it's not. It's more spring. Kind of like this one. I have another, I got a different basket too. It's white because I have a chair in my craft room that's that color. Um, this guy. Where's the green one? Oh, here it is. So similar to this, 
but it's got uh, it's just a different no tulips in the front it has like daisies dip dot daisies so I'll have a little collection and look at him and look at the chicky so cute so I got that this one's super cute with the little this one's called spring eggs and it have has love bunnies a one bird house with tulips and a little bunny with a hat holding a chicky with a heart with like a oh boy with a wreath around it but this was the one with the four seasons this is called the bunny bucket with seasonal bunny eggs the bunny bucket isn't um, being made anymore from her wood source, but I'm sure you could find something similar, you know. Um, even just like a, um, a tin bucket, like a tin. They have, but they're just a little more different. You, have, you would have to seal it with a metal sealer, but you could still paint on tin. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. So these, look. I love these little ones. This could totally be a big egg, so it doesn't have to be on the bucket. It's in a smaller pattern, but these are the seasonal bunnies. So I was thinking of doing these guys on um, those four round plaques. It's just that you kind of want the whole thing. Like, look at these. That would fit on here. So cute. So anyway, that's my my see these are older these are older writing and everything so these let's see if there's a copyright 96 I wonder if that's when she designed this 96 oh yeah Barb see there's a little copyright thing 96 so this one was designed in 96 I didn't see it in the other one and then here's the picture of it. Oh, MJ. Anyway, but she has them on eggs. So you can wrap these around a little egg. Oh my gosh, the seasonal ones. So anyway, I have plenty to keep me busy. That's it for my haul. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying this springtime of 2023. And um, I'll be back in the craft room soon. And thanks for watching.